Yeah, and Keenan, notice that I'm actually standing right in the service drive. Why? Because cars can't make their way back here right now. It's too high. We actually still are seeing cars that are getting stuck. Some with fresh headlights, four ways flashing because they've got stuck. Uh, people are concerned about what this means. And what I want to do is give you a slow, long push in off into the distance. This looks like a river now. If you get an aerial view, you just see what looks like a river. But no, this is the Southfield Expressway. And if you look closely, you can see that bottom reflection right there that's the actual water almost at the top of the bridge that goes over that's outer drive right now but it's not just a concern about the roads it's not just a concern about these almost makeshift rivers that are going on what's really concerning is what I'm standing in right here because we are right next door to neighbors just behind me and off to the side is apartment complexes and homes and people went to sleep last night wondering if this water was going to continue to rise and get into their homes. so with today's forecast tonight's forecast that rain that has all of them still on edge. The site on Wednesday brought shock. This is more than a traffic headache. This is dangerous. And people who live nearby forced to find ways out. Well, they couldn't believe what they were seeing. I have never seen it that high ever. Pumpers and cranes were brought in overnight to get rid of all this water. But original estimates were that it's going to take more than a day to get rid of all of this water. On Wednesday, we saw locals in the closest neighborhood walking through ankle deep water, but as cars and homes took on more and more damage, the frustration was clearly growing. It's not that this is new, it's that this is allowed to happen again and again. And for people like Jerry Rossi, that's just not right. How you get out of the neighborhood like this without messing your car up? You don't. Yeah, this is frustration over infrastructure or a lack thereof. I've got water up near my knees behind me. You see the bridge that we were talking about at the water almost above and at the bottom of that bridge. And you can see all the tankers, all the vehicles they have trying to pump this water out. It has been a long day and these people are still going to be going through it the rest of today and tomorrow at the very least. We know it's going to be an issue.